Amen. Blessed and wonderful name of Jesus. No other name I know. Glory be to God. I want to look at Jeremiah. Amen. 17 and 9 says, The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately wicked, desperately sick. Who can understand? Amen. The heart is deceitful. I just want to just share this thought with you. Amen. Don't trust your emotions. Hallelujah. But trust God. So many are living by their emotions. Hallelujah. But God is wanting us and letting us know we can't trust our emotions. Scriptures instructs us to put our trust in God, not in our own wisdom, our own strength, our own skills, our own feelings. Feelings or emotions are especially, hallelujah, nor tortious as Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. As falses and misplaced trust, what can feel very right can actually be very wrong. Amen. What can feel very right can actually be very wrong. People often associate feelings with that which flows out of a person's heart. The biblical definition of a heart, glory be to God, encompass a person's mind, will, or center of being where originate thoughts, emotions, desires, and feelings. What does the Bible say about the nature of the human heart? Amen. As we just said in Jeremiah, amen, 17 and 9, that the heart is wicked. The heart is deceitful. Stop touching. Stop. Hallelujah. Trust in your emotions. Amen. And trust God. Trust the word of God. What does the word of God say? The heart is deceitful above all things and desperately sick. And who can understand it? My God, my God. Throughout scriptures, we See many examples of devastating consequences of acting upon the flesh desires of the human heart and trusting our feelings. Examples include Aaron making a golden calf for the Israelites to worship, which resulted in the death of nearly 3,000 Israelites, Exodus 32, 1 through 28, and Judas Iscariot. Uh, betraying Jesus in exchange for money, which resulted Judas eventually killing himself. Matthew 26, 14 through 16. Amen. Proverbs 3, 5 through 6 gives explicit instructions in the, in the, in the matter of trusting our feelings. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean into your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge him and he will direct your path. My God, seeking after God with the whole heart brings a blessing. Blessed are those who keep his statutes and seek him with their heart. They're doing no wrong. Saints, family, and friends, we have to continue to pray for God to create in us a clean heart and renew in us, amen, the right spirit. Glory be to God. We have to trust, amen, the word of God. Stop trusting your emotions because you get caught up in the situation. You get caught up in your emotions and your emotions, hallelujah, blinds the word of God. When God says, give up the right for the wrong, glory be to God, because somebody wronged you, you want to go, you want to go and wrong them and wrong them back. But that's your emotions talking. The Bible says how many times you are to forgive. We are to forgive 70 times seven because we cannot allow our emotions, hallelujah, to block the word of God. What did the word of God say? Glory be to God. Don't trust your own emotions. Don't trust your heart. Hallelujah. Let Hallelujah, God renewing you. Aha, ye, Korbahash, and Saha, a right mind, the right spirit, the right heart. And when you have the heart of God, you will have the emotions of God. You will seek, seek, hallelujah, seek after the will of God, and you will love as God loved. Love your enemies, hallelujah. Pray for them that despitefully misuse you. You will love like Jesus loved. You will see like Jesus see. You will do like Jesus do. But I heard the Lord say today to share don't get caught up in your emotions emotions. Hallelujah. Don't get caught up in your emotions. Hallelujah. But get caught up in the word of God. What did God say to do in the situation that you find yourself in? So many people, hallelujah, have landed in prison because they got caught up in their emotions. Hallelujah. Doing an altercation, doing a situation, they let their emotions overtake them. Hallelujah. And they fell in sin. My God, my God. Uh, hallelujah. We got to know it might seem right to you does not mean it's right in the sight of God. 
What does the word say? What did God say? We have to continue to pray that God will condition our minds, our hearts, hallelujah, and our will, glory be to God, that we can do the right thing in every situation. God says, hallelujah, don't get caught up in your emotions, my God, but get caught up in the word, the will of God. Hallelujah. In the mighty name of Jesus, hallelujah, it can be done. Let God rule your life, my God, because at the end of that, hallelujah, the Bible says it's peace, hallelujah. The end of that is peace, hallelujah, joy unspeakable and full of glory, hallelujah. Oh God, we thank you, we thank you, we thank you, hallelujah. Glory be to God, hallelujah. What did the word say? Don't get caught up in yourself, but get caught up in the Lord Jesus Christ. I love you. May heaven forever smile upon you is my prayer. Thank you, Jesus.